Welcome back to BarbecueTalk.ca series of how-to cooking videos. Um, got a fun one for you. It's going to be real quick. Let's see if you can guess by these ingredients what we're going to cook today. Got a loaf of fresh baked farmer's bread, pound of bacon, Vidalia onion, our homemade barbecue sauce that we made in our last video, can of the greatest baked beans on earth, Bush's beans, What's this? Ring bologna or small bologna or an oversized hot dog basically the same thing. So hot dog, beans, bread, sauce, bacon but a good old fashioned meal, wieners and beans, ring bologna and beans. Do it on the barbecue, do it in the oven, do it in your gas barbecue. It's a good fun fun meal. Stick around Peel your onion, we're going to chop it up, this is a Vidalia onion, it's nice and sweet. Okay, we're going to pan fry that in some vegetable oil, corn oil, canola oil, whatever you've got. Um, we're going to add some salt, some pepper. Okay, and we're going to take this until it's a dark golden brown, almost to the point of being burnt. Okay, we're going to grill that off on our stove. Toss it into our bean mixture. Okay, get that on your stove. Some salt. Crack up some pepper. And then just flip that down until they're uh, a golden brown. Doing a foil pan. Um, you can take the foil pan. You can put it in your oven. You can do it on your gas barbecue. We're going to do it in our uh, in our smoker. Um, it's good all three ways. Really doesn't matter. So the well, first thing we're going to add is we're going to add our beans. Okay, make sure you get right to the bottom. These bush beans, I mean, it says bush is best, they're right. Uh, if you've never tried it before, they are a consistently amazing tasting bean. Um, they really are. So, I'm going to get a can of those in there. You can see a little bit of pork in. Also going to add another can of, uh, of Heinz beans. Um, just because that's what's available locally here. I ran, that was my last can of bushes. Um, and they're very close. Heinz uh, has a good product. Uh, to be honest with you, I like the bushes better. Okay, so give them a little mix up there. Um, don't be overly concerned with putting everything together yet. Um, now our onions. Uh, if you take a good look at that, you can see what I mean by burn those onions up. That's, that's what we want to look like. Um, you taste these things right now, they're, uh, they're amazing, they really are. So we're going to add most of that to our bean mixture. I might save a couple of pieces out for, uh, for some nibbling for myself while everything's coming together. Now we're going to add in, um, if you watched our last, uh, our last video, we have a really nice homemade barbecue sauce. Uh, if you don't make it yourself, you can add it to your favorite store-bought. Um, I'm going to take a guess at maybe, maybe a good cup of that. Okay. Add a little more if that's not enough. And I'm going to add in, yeah, maybe a good tablespoon of mustard. Okay, so now we've got a basis. Put in cracked pepper. Okay. You won't need to add any salt to this. The onions are well salted. Uh, the caramelization of the onions actually acts as a, uh, a salt flavor. Just going to blend these up. What I want them to be, you can see the beans here that are still the, the can color and you can see the colors uh, from the sauces and that. I want them all to be this color basically so if we can't get that throughout then we're going to have to add more barbecue sauce. And looks like you're definitely going to have to add a little bit more. So that was roughly a cup on the first round. Give it another two-thirds of a cup. Let's see if that's, yeah, there we go. There we go. Don't want it real thick. It'll thicken up in the barbecue or in your oven, however you're going to do it there. And that's the color and the consistency that I'm looking for, right there. Perfect. Next ingredient that we're going to add 
is some bacon. Okay. Throw a few slices. We're going to actually tuck that down into the beans a little bit. And it's going to act and add a lot of flavor. If I was going to do this on my barbecue in uh, alongside a cook of, say, some pork butts, I'd actually, just towards the tail end of the pork butt cook, I would put the pork butts above the bean mixture and have them drip all that beautiful pork juice on top of the beans. And, uh, man, we were just talking amazing. But since we're not cooking a butt this time, we're just putting, uh, this, is, this, is, this is the meal. Um, so we're going to put some bacon in. That'll add, uh, that'll add a bunch of flavor itself. Okay, so some of you may or may not be familiar with ring bologna. Uh, it's not that easy, at least not around here, to come by. But it's uh, like a small version of bologna. I guess, or you could say an extra large version <laughs> of a, a hot dog, basically. Um, but it's kind of a neat thing. It's just, uh, just a little bit different way to serve up a, uh, an old-time favorite. You can see it looks like a, looks like a, a ring of bologna or a ring of uh, you know Polish sausage. Um, that's good stuff all the same. Gonna get it out of the package. I mean, I suppose you could put it on top of the uh, on top of the beans as is. Um, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna chunk it into some nice sized pieces. Okay. You can sit and carve away at that alongside your beans. Okay, so you can see how we want to do this. I'll chop up the other one, and then we'll put it all together. Okay, so you see we've chunked it up, and we're just uh, putting our pieces on. Okay, about an inch in, uh, inch in width. Okay, just make sure there's spaces in between. There you have it. Now, from here, you can put it in your oven, you can put it on your gas barbecue, you can put it in your smoker like we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to give it about 30 minutes covered in foil on the smoker, then I'm going to uncover it. Uh, the temperature you want to be cooking at is roughly 350 degrees. Okay, so we're going to foil it, take it out to the barbecue, and the next picture you see is when we, uh, when we unveil it on the barbecue for another 20 okay, minutes. Okay, we've had them in foil for about 30 minutes. We took the foil off and we put them uh, foilless. About another 30 minutes. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can see how uh, we've got a nice little boil going on in the beans, the uh, ring bologna. Uh, each piece is swelled up and sweaty and it's, it's cooked. It looks delicious. Time to take it to the plate. Looks good. Okay, so there we are. We're, uh, we're ready to serve. There is our ring bologna and beans, or wieners and beans, whatever you, uh, whatever you prefer to call it. Uh, with some bacon and done on the smoker with a little added hickory to it. And uh, that's a good looking meal. I mean, I was brought up having this meal, uh, you know, once a month or so. Um, it's delicious, delicious stuff. So uh, if you see ring bologna and, and, and you've actually got it available to you, give it a try. It's great. If not, go back to traditional way and just use the wieners. So let's, uh, let's see what else we can put the with this on our plate. I think I found the perfect side to wieners and beans with some homemade hash browns. There you go. We uh, we cooked that uh, in about 20 minutes. All it is is, a sh is shredded potato, some of those leftover onion bits that I saved from the pan, and uh, some salt and pepper. Flip her a couple of times so she's golden brown. Excellent side to complement your wieners and beans. There you are folks, there's dinner. Ring bologna and beans, or wieners and beans, whatever you want to call it, give it a try. Um, very simple, very easy with bacon, onions in it. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Some uh, fresh baked, fresh cut Italian bread and homemade hash browns. Doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching our videos. Please take a moment to rate, comment, and subscribe. BarbecueTalk.ca